here I am on the stability ball. This is something I really like to do after training legs. Got a stick up mass. I thought I was going to <clears throat> do a hardcore cardio workout. It ended up just being a ridiculous amount of reps with the overhead squat because for some reason I can't get the balance down right. Shoulders are too tight, and uh, you know I got a decent squat. Well, I'm figuring feels like that's all I do these days. Squat a ton. Um, but I've been building. I'm trying to get you know better at jujitsu, better at you know the overall fitness with CrossFit. And uh, overhead squat is definitely a weakness. So what I'm doing here with the stability ball is just getting into a basic jiu-jitsu combat base. I got one leg up, elbow inside, and I'm just kind of playing with my hands, keeping my elbows tight. Um, this is something you would be doing in someone's guard when they're on their back. You don't want to be too forward too far back that's why I like the stability ball it keeps you honest and if your weight isn't right uh, you get swept so <clears throat> I love it because you gotta have a good center of balance you keep everything good I found just doing this for long periods of time you know they talk about having a really good wrestler base and, uh, you know, I do, but what I think has really helped in my game, just balancing on this ball for ever. <clears throat> and for any ladies out there, there's a great butt workout. <laughs> I mean, my glutes and my hamstrings are on fire. And granted, I did like a thousand overhead squats today, but which I'll show in a little bit. But it's great because I'm feeling it right in the butt. Hips are already blown out, my thighs are burning, my inside of the thighs are burning on the inside, so it's a great leg workout to finish out. You know, if you're in a jiu-jitsu, it's definitely great to, to finish off with this because your muscles are fatigued. So, you know, you're just still going without putting a whole lot of stress on your body. And just, I like going back and forth Boom, and then base, come back. Don't touch the ground. The ground is hot lava. Uh, one second. Burning up. You know, and it's great. I'm sure anybody that's been, it's a great way to get ready to stand up on the ball, which is an easy, I'll back up so you guys can see. In here, like this, if you're into sitting through, you just grab the ball, sit through, there's your sprawl out, stepping over the head, just sliding into that north south, <clears throat> or just sit here on Burn City, just burning that, burning that barn, you know what I mean? I'm free. kind of a goof after a hard workout, so. You know, if you start feeling comfortable, just putting knees, knees down, alternating. If you can do it without touching the ball into your combat base, I call it just gargoyle. Just chilling out. Then back to normal. I'm losing my stability. So it's great. I mean, just go back and forth. Left combat, right combat, center. Right combat, center, right combat, center back to base and if you're feeling real comfortable with it you can always start trying to stand up just put your hands on the balls the ball I like putting a foot up on this side kind of putting that knee on the other side so that everything's kind of pinching much like you would be doing with your knees just a little bit more advanced get your feet up on there 
Get yourself nice and balanced. There you go. Now everything shakes. Whoa. <laughs> and it burns. If you do squats here, my legs are done. So I cannot. But definitely a great burner. <clears throat> a great way to get your body, you know, cooled down. And finish it off with a, a nice little leg burner, butt burner. Lower back is killing me. <clears throat> and also working that balance so that, you know, your opponents can't throw you and uh, you just dominate on top. No one can sweep that, right? Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys later.